Over the last two years that we've been publicly tracking our trades, we've been absolutely crushing the S&P 500 with a 125% return compared to just 50% from the S&P 500 over the same time frame. And while everything we do revolves around option selling, there's been one particular option selling strategy that we've developed which has been by far the most successful, the IV reversion strategy. So far in 2022, these trades are 19 and 0 with almost $4,000 in profit. And you might say 2022 is a pretty small sample size, but we could also look back to 2021 to see that these trades finished 36 and 2 for $17,000 of profit. So that's a 96.4% win rate and over $20,000 of profit over the last couple of years. So how does it work and how can you learn to identify these unique setups in the future? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Hourglass Trader, where as time passes, we make money. Let's talk about the IV reversion strategy. So the theoretical options pricing formula is pretty complex, and the good news is that you don't need to learn it for this, but the big takeaway is that implied volatility in a stock plays a big part in the price of the options. Implied volatility is the market's forecast of a likely movement in securities price. It's a metric used by investors to estimate future fluctuations of a securities price based on certain predictive factors. In plain English, it's really just how much the market expects a stock to go up and down in a certain time period. The most basic thing you need to know is that the higher the implied volatility is, the higher the premiums are that the options will offer, and that's great for us because our strategy revolves around selling as much premium as we can. When implied volatility sees sudden and dramatic changes during the trading day, it leads to some pretty interesting option pricing activity. Let's take a look at what I mean. So here's a chart from Corsair on August 30th, 2021, and you may be wondering why we're using an example from last August, but it's because after looking through my files, I think the only example that I have charts saved down is from here, so here we are. Uh, but what you'll see is just what we've discussed, right? You have this really big spike in price, which correspondingly leads to a big increase in implied volatility, which is plotted by the blue line down below this chart. And as we just mentioned, big changes in implied volatility during the day can do some really, really interesting things to option pricing. So let's take a look at this example specifically. So what we have right here is the price of the 25 strike put uh, plotted right next to the stock price during that day, right? So this big green candle that we were looking at previously is reflected on a little bit smaller chart right about here. And thinking about options, you know, how do calls and puts typically behave? When the price of a stock goes up, the price of a call should go up and the price of a put should go down. And that's reflected here by what's plotted on this purple line, which is called the theoretical option price. When the price of a stock goes up, the price of the put correspondingly should also go down. But what we see a little bit below that plotted by these red and green candles right here is that when the price of Corsair went up on August 30th, even though the price of the 25 puts should have gone down, the opposite actually happened. The price of these 25 strike puts actually doubled. It went from 30 cents at the base to 66 cents at the peak. And we were able to sell for 63 cents, get out shortly after for 34 cents and a $435 profit. Now, why is that? The answer, like we looked at on the previous slide, is this big spike in implied volatility, which eventually comes back down or reverts to the mean, which gives the strategy, the IV reversion strategy, its name. We could take a look at another example with Robinhood back in August of the same year. And again, apologies, I haven't taken some screenshots in a while, so last year of August is what we've got here. Uh, but for those of you who have been trading for a while may remember last August when Robinhood had this big squeeze up from the 40 or 50 level to hitting 85 at one point at the peak uh, before falling back down. But again, even though you could barely see implied volatility plotted here, uh, on the most recent morning showed, you can undoubtedly see a big spike in implied volatility. What does that big spike mean? We saw on the Corsair slide that when it spiked up from 27 to 28, we were able to sell 25, which is you know $3 clear of the price of that. When Robinhood spiked from 50 to 80, we were actually able to do something a lot more insane. We were actually able to sell 20 strike puts that expired August the 21st. And we were able to sell this for 20 cents a piece, which we'll know if you follow our option selling strategies, a 20 cent credit on a 20 strike cash secured put is a 1% return, which is exactly what we like to target. So we sold 50 of these because, I mean, if you look at the chart, we sold 20 strike puts. Uh, the stock took off from 40 or 50 up to 85, and I think we entered when the stock was in the 60 or 70 range. But in plain English, as long as Robinhood stayed above 20, we were gonna hit max profit on the trade, and you can't even really see 20 on the chart. That is how big of a cushion we get. And the reason that we were able to get that cushion again is because of this spike in implied volatility. 
And as we showed with Corsair, where we were able to get in and out really quickly for a profit, there was no difference here with Robinhood. We were actually able to get out in four hours for $750 of profit, which is not too bad for a day's work. And the best part that we talk about with this 20 strike put that we sold is the cushion. We entered when the stock was trading at about 60 or 70, and as you can see over the next few days, it tapered off and went down, but even though it went down, we still made money because 55 that it settled at is a long way away from the 20 uh, that we were able to sell our strike at. And that is the value of these implied volatility reversion trades. You can see the implied volatility fall back down, absolutely crush the option premium and set us back up with a trade where we were able to sell for 20 cent credit, buy back for a five cent debit, all in roughly four hours time for $750 of profit. But one thing that is very important to point out is that not every spike in implied volatility is a good implied volatility reversion opportunity. We have outlined four different criteria which we believe are very important to keep an eye on uh, for a trade to fall into our eye view reversion strategy. The first is a sudden spike in price causing a spike in implied volatility. We saw some really, really big spikes on Robinhood and Corsair on the previous slides. That's exactly what we're talking about when you see not only the spike in the price of the stock, but the corresponding spike in that implied volatility that we saw plotted by the blue lines below those charts. Uh, the second is good news causing the spike. Now, why do we like good news to cause the spike? Because theoretically, if you have a stock that's trading it, you know, 25, 26, and it spikes up to 30, you can use the justification that, look, if this stock was trading at 25 before, and then it had good news, theoretically, it should be worth more than 24 in the future. Should it be worth the 30 that it spiked up to? Maybe, maybe not, but we could use the justification that it should be worth more than it was previously trading at to help guide our decision with what strike put that we decide to sell. And of course, the third is a solid trading base that we like to look at when deciding uh, where to sell that cash secured put. A great example is if we flip back to this Corsair chart, uh, we see that it spiked up from 27 up to 28, 29-ish. So we said, okay, you know, we could consider you know high 26s, low 27s to be the previous trading base. So we were comfortable selling cash secured puts anywhere at or below this level. Similarly with Robinhood, if we pulled this chart up as well, it was trading at 40, 50, we could consider that to be the trading base. And why do we like this idea of a trading base during a spike? It's because we've seen it a million times before. When it spikes up this high, it typically falls back down to that pre-spike trading base. And then the fourth criteria that we like to look for is sufficient option premium at or below the trading base. And we typically define this as greater than or equal to 1% return on risk. Uh, with the Robinhood 20 strike puts that we sold, we were able to get a 20 cent credit. That is the 1% or greater ROR that we were looking for on the trade. So that really fit the bill on a lot of these criteria. And one important thing to note is that while we do have four criteria outlined here, you don't necessarily need to hit all four to have a perfect IV reversion trade. Yes, it's awesome if you're able to hit all four. I think it's a home run trade if you hit all four, but I think you could still hit three out of the four and have a really, really solid setup. Great example, the Robinhood trade that we looked at. There wasn't really any good news causing the spike in the stock. It was more so a short squeeze caused by short interest on the stock, but those kinds of moves caused really big spikes in implied volatility, which gave us one, the spike in price and spike in implied volatility. We had three, the solid trading base, and four, we had sufficient option premium at or below the trading base. So while we didn't have you know, point two, which was good news causing the spike, having three of the four criteria that we've outlined helped us set up that really nice trade that took us home $750 in a very short time frame. And now I'm sure that begs the question, how do we find these opportunities? And what I've found with this strategy, similarly to many of the other option selling strategies that we've put into play, is that using an option scanner is gonna be the best way to identify these four criteria that we talked about. And if you are a member of our Discord server, we've thrown together an automated IV reversion alert bot that'll tag you and let you know when one of these situations pops up. Uh, we usually get a few of these different messages per day, but in general, they have brought up some really, really good opportunities under the IV reversion alerts channel. One such example was back on April 1st, 2022, when the bot called out SGBX as a potential IV reversion alert. 
We entered SGBX and made us a couple hundred bucks, along with RCAT, which was also called out by the bot. We had SST called out by the bot on April 7th. That one took us home over $200 of profit in just one day. So this is a very, very effective system that we have working with this bot to help us you know, put everything together that we've talked about in the beginning of this video and kind of hand feed us these situations. And if you would like access to our Discord server and that bot, you could go to hourglass-trader.com, join HT Premium, you'll see our plans and pricing page, $24.99 a month or $2.25 a year, uh, but the $24.99 a month comes with a one week free trial. And again, looking at some of the trades that we opened just off of that one bot, uh, I think it's definitely worth your money, but that'll be the end of the self promo for this video. Because at the end of the day, our biggest goal is just to teach the strategies that we put in play to you guys so that the next time you see a setup that looks like this where you see a big spike in the price of a stock with an accompanying spike in implied volatility and you flip over to the price action on the options and you see that it looks like this, a move on the option premium that kind of defies logic, you will know what exactly is happening. It's caused by the spike in implied volatility. And then you could take what you've learned in this video, capitalize on the opportunity, and make yourself some money in the market off of our IV reversion strategy. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. It's the first video that we have made in a while outside of our weekly streams, which typically occur about every Sunday night around 9 o'clock Eastern time if you want to tune into those. Uh, the link to join our Discord server is also in the description. We have tons of free channels because, again, our goal is to teach you guys the strategies and make it free for everyone to learn how to safely, smartly, and profitably sell options. But if you do want to take the next step in your trading journey, do head on over to hourglass-trader.com. Check out what we got. Sign up for HD Premium to get access to our bots, trade alerts, and much, much more. Uh, but until next time, this has been Hourglass Trader, where as time passes, we make money.